This week, there has been a lot of buzz around Manus AI, the first general AI agent that seamlessly bridges mind and actions. It's a powerful AI agent app capable of autonomously automating and creating with high quality. We explored open source alternatives like Open Manus, but the main drawback was its lack of a UI, making it quite difficult for many users to access. But don't worry, I have a solution to this. Allow me to introduce Automate. This is another open source alternative to Manus. It's an AI powered local automation tool with a user friendly UI. While it may not replicate Manus AI exactly in terms of its AI agent performance, it also has AI agents which have been configured similarly to automate tasks effortlessly and effectively like Manus can. Plus, automate can control your computer, which is something Manus AI cannot do. As an added benefit, Automate's UI is going to make it far more accessible and easier to use than Open Manus. What's interesting is that the framework is built on Microsoft's open source project which is called OmniParser V2. This is a cutting edge screenshot parser that's designed for web automation. It's a fast and powerful tool that converts UI screenshots into structured data which is going to enhance large language model based UI agents which is the very foundation of Automate. Before we get started with today's video, allow me to introduce today's video sponsor, Brilliant. Brilliant is your partner in learning, offering interactive courses that make complex concepts clear and fun. Whether you're tackling math, science, or programming, Brilliant brings you cutting edge interactive lessons that allow you to learn at your own pace. Plus, you can now take these courses with you anywhere thanks to Brilliant's powerful mobile app. At Brilliant, they focus on real world subjects, not just individual courses. You can explore topics like data science, artificial intelligence, and even basics of scientific thinking, all designed to help you build critical problem solving skills. Brilliant's mobile app makes learning easy and accessible, whether you're on the bus, at home, or anywhere in between. No matter where you are, Brilliant helps you stay on track with your learning goals. Ready to boost your learning? Start your 30-day free trial today with the link in the description below and get 20% off your subscription when you sign up. Brilliant is where learning gets smarter, more interactive, and more accessible. But with that thought guys, let's get right back into the video. And with the Omni Parser V2 powering this agent framework, they have configured the AI agents to work similarly to Manus so that it could operate your computer, which is something Manus cannot do, but it can also understand and make autonomous decisions. It can also make it so that it could output larger context based off of the reasoning models that you link within Automate. It's something that is quite easy to get started, comes with the UI, here is a demo of Automate in action. You can see that you have the option to screenshot something and then send it into Automate and then you can add a requirement like automatically tagging through your chat history and you can see that it is now going to automate that ac action for you by tagging that particular chat history you had and it's going to give a tag. Also keep in mind they recommend that you use Nvidia graphics uh, cards which have at least 4 gigabytes of VRAM and it's something that you should have otherwise this is going to be really slow or it's going to have a lot of bugs and i definitely don't recommend that you install this on windows because there's a lot of issues with it so make sure you try using it on mac os or on ubuntu so now we know what automate is capable of doing let's get started you're going to first need to make sure that you have the prerequisites fulfilled to install this locally make sure you have vs code to configure the api keys make sure you have python git to clone the repository and conda to set up the virtual environment once you have that all figured out and installed you can go ahead and copy the first command which is the git clone command so go ahead and open up your command prompt once you have it opened up you can then simply go ahead and paste in the git clone command to clone the automate repository now once it finishes cloning what you can do is head over to the automate directory then after you have went into the directory, you can then go ahead and create your virtual environment. This is with the conda create command. So go into your command prompt and create this. It will then ask you to proceed forward. So just simply click Y once it has finished creating this. Then you simply just need to activate the conda environment. So copy the next command, paste it in. 
Then lastly, you'll just need to install the requirements. So copy the pip install command and then paste it into your command prompt, which will install everything that is necessary to have this functional. So once it has finished doing this, what you can do is just simply launch the application. Now there's only four models currently supported with Omni Parser, which is the GPT-4 Omni 4.5, Omni uh, the 2024 11 20 version as well as the preview from this year so these are the four models that you can use currently with this model or with this Asian framework but I guess over time they're going to be releasing more and more models to use with it but once it has finished doing this we can then go ahead and start up the application with the python main pi command so I paste it in the command and it'll take a couple of seconds to load up within your local host where it's going to be a Gradio link that will be sent into your command prompt afterwards. And there we go. I'm now on my local host and you can access the local host link through your command prompt. But now what you can do is set your configurations like the model. So go ahead and paste in your open AI API key first. Now I went along and I have set my API key. Now what you can do is click on this button and then you can have it so that you can select the region on your screen. And once you have selected it, you can then send in a prompt. So you can ask it, what is the screen displaying? And then it'll use a screenshot and then it'll actually showcase and parse what has been seen through that screenshot. What I'm gonna do is showcase an example of me inputting an image of the model card of Omni Parser and then have it parse the contents of that model card, meaning that it extracts every component of that page and it'll display all of the contents, whether that's the metadata of the model card and you can see that it categorizes it all all the different components of that page all of them have been highlighted and parsed and this was something that i was able to do with automate another feature of automate is that it has the ability to create files so you can request it to edit things on your computer and then have it implement a research strategy on something and then i'll put it as a doc that you can then access after the generation on your desktop which is just insane so think of it as a way for you to automate tasks after you send in a prompt and then you can also have it so that you can chain a couple of prompts together and then have an output if you like this video and would love to support the channel you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below or you can consider joining our private discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different ai tools for free on a monthly basis plus daily ai news and exclusive content plus a lot more overall automate is still fairly early to be a great alternative to manis it has a lot of loopholes but it is definitely a great alternative that you can get started with locally and it's something that i recommend that you take a look at with all the links that i use in today's video in the description below but with that thought guys thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video make sure you subscribe to the newsletter so that you can access daily as well as weekly ai news over here join my private discord Make sure you follow me on Twitter so that you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos because there's a lot of content that you'll truly benefit from. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.